two scriptures for tonight. Colossians chapter 1 from verse 12 to 14. Breathe, Lord, breathe. Breathe, Lord, breathe. Breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord. attention now Colossians chapter 1 12 to 14 giving thanks unto the father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light uh -huh. who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son 14 in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins John chapter 10 and verse 10 powerful scripture amplified please the thief cometh not or the thief comes only in order to steal and kill and to destroy what's his threefold ministry to steal and kill not steal or kill or destroy he will do all three building one upon another to steal in addition to stealing kill in addition to killing destruction but jesus said i am come or i came that they including everyone here may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance the meaning to the full till it overflows shout amen yeah. now according to scripture there are two kinds of life that every man on earth has an opportunity of experiencing Please listen carefully. There are two kinds of life. Essentially, everyone born by a woman, every human who finds himself in this side of God's kingdom, according to scripture, is given an opportunity within the span of his lifetime. Are we together? To experience one or preferably two of these kinds of life. Number one is called the biological or physical life your biological or physical life let's walk very quickly so the first kind of life that every man born at all has an opportunity to experience what is the biological life the life that an individual can have at the point of conception or delivery you are given an opportunity from the time of conception up until you are delivered and then you grow and live your life you have the biological or physical life. The possibility of that life based on spirituality and biology, we are taught that it stands at the point of conception. You are given an opportunity to experience that life for no matter how short a time, every man who passes through the earth, are we together now, has an opportunity to experience that life, the biological, physical life. Number two, the second kind of life is called Zoe, God's supernatural abundant life. Zoe, God's supernatural abundant life. God's supernatural abundant life. This life is spiritual in context. This life is spiritual in context. However, it is lived out in the physical realm. It is spiritual in context. Are we together? It is not biological, meaning it does not depend on your being born by a woman. No. Being born by a woman affords you the opportunity to have the biological or physical life. Are we together? 
But the moment you have that, you are qualified that if you walk in keeping with the terms that administer the second dimension of life, you can have Zoe, God's spiritual, supernatural, abundant life. It is spiritual in context, but it is lived out in the physical realm. Now listen, I wrote something here that I want you to please listen to. God's life, what we call Zoe, this second but higher dimension of life, it came as an improvement and a remedy to the limitations that come with the biological life. The life Zoe, this abundant life, we call it eternal life or everlasting life. You see that now? It came as an improvement and then a remedy to the limitations that came with the physical life. In 1 Corinthians, I believe, uh, 1545, I think 15, give us 44 or 45. I think it's 45. Yes. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. Are we together? And the last Adam, not just the second Adam, the last Adam was made a quickening or a life-giving spirit. That means even if Adam did not fall, listen to me, the life that we now have in Christ is still more superior than the original life or to the original life that Adam had. Are we together? The life that we are given in Christ is not the same life Adam had before the fall. Adam was a living soul that degenerated to become an embodiment of sin through the fall. But that the life that we have in Christ today, Zoe, makes us beyond living souls. We are now life-giving spirits. It's a superior kind of life. Are we together? So I said that this life Zoe came as number one, an improvement and then a, a remedy. It came to remedy the degeneration that happened through the fall, reducing man to become an embodiment of sin. And then it came as an improvement to the life that man had. Zoe it is called. Now, um, let, let, let me use the example of our apps how many of you have seen whether you as you use your phone your gadgets there are times that the phone will tell you there is an update is that true it will tell you that there is an update do you know that as far as the company responsible for the applications they have sent the update and it has reached your phone and many times they can even list for you the new features in the updates that both improve the quality of your device and remedy for certain flaws in the older version. Am I right on that? Praise the name of the Lord. So, it will tell you that there is an update, but in most cases, it will give you an option whether to update immediately or at a later time. And you can keep postponing forever. The manufacturers, as far as they are concerned, you should already be enjoying the richer, better experience of that application. But because you have not taken advantage of the update, the potential is already flashing on your phone. But whether you walk in the experience of it or not, you can still be suffering the limitations of the older version, whereas the possibility for an update is there. Are we together? God's life came as an improvement and a remedy to the limitations that come with the physical or biological life. Now, please pay attention, everyone. I wrote something else here that I want you to listen to. The presence of sin, the presence of the wickedness of men, and the presence of demonic activities, three factors. You want to benefit from this miracle service? Listen to this point. The presence of sin as a nature producing the outworkings of unrighteousness, the presence of the wickedness of the hearts of men, and the presence of demonic activities makes it impossible to live an excelling life from a purely biological standpoint. That means there are three factors that makes it impossible to maximize life if the only thing you have is the biological life. 
the presence of sin as a nature in man. In iniquity did my mother conceive me, the psalmist said. Are we together? So in every man programmed in our DNA by reason of the fallen nature is the nature of sin that will now produce the outworkings of unrighteousness in its variety. That it's a nature that is in a, enshrined in all men. The only remedy to that nature is receiving the life of God. Are we together? The presence of sin. Then the presence of the wickedness of men. Then the presence of demonic or satanic activities makes it impossible to live an excelling life and to maximize life from a purely biological standpoint. In Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5, God looked down and he saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Who saw it? God. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. This was God's verdict. When he looked from heaven, he saw that something had happened to man by reason of the falling nature. That the imaginations in the heart of man was only wicked continually. And that because of that very factor, it is impossible for you unassisted to truly walk in the experience of victory if all you have is just the biological life. Men will not even allow you to enjoy your life. That's what I'm trying to say. That men are wicked, so wicked, you don't have to look for anybody's trouble. They fabricate imaginations and make sure they stop you from enjoying the liberty that is in Christ. Are we together? So because you get married, someone gets angry and say, On, over my dead body for you to enjoy your marriage. Men for you. You say, ah, I just got a job with an oil company. An oil company before me. All right. You see that now. It is the reality. God's verdict about men is that the imaginations in the hearts of men, the wickedness of man was so great. That's why he sent the flood to purge the earth. The presence of sin. The presence of wickedness in the hearts of men and the presence of demonic activities makes it impossible. First John 5, 19, the Bible says, Now we are out of God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. The whole world, ladies and gentlemen, not just Abuja, not just Nigeria, not just Africa, not just America, Europe, wherever. Once you are on earth, it says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Hallelujah. In John chapter 5, very interesting discourse. Jesus healed the man at Bethesda, if you recall. And when he healed the man, the man got up and went away. And the scribes and the Pharisees were angry. And they began to challenge Jesus' healing ministry. Saying that don't come and heal a man on a Sabbath day. There are other days in the week. Let that man be healed that day. And when Jesus saw the man, give us from verse 12, I think, 12 to 14 for sake of time but the full text is john chapter 5 from verse 1 to 14 and they asked then they then asked they to him what man is that which said unto thee take up thy bed and walk and he that was healed which not who it was for jesus had conveyed himself away a multitude being in that place verse 14 afterwards this was this this is my emphasis Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, watch this, behold, thou art made whole. He says, sin no more, lest a worse thing comes upon you. So we know what brought the problem in the first place. You see that now. He's telling him that the cause for this thing, whether it is sin caused by you or inherited by bloodline, this has been responsible for this bodily tragedy you are suffering. And he says, as you go, he said, sin no more. Lest a worse thing will come upon you. So the nature of sin, the presence of sin, the presence of the wickedness in the heart of men, and the presence of demonic forces. Demonic forces. The Bible is full of expressions 
that there are demonic forces that spy upon the liberty of the saints day and night. Satan is ever determined, listen, to destroy your destiny and my destiny. And if allowed, he will wreck your life, wreck your ministry, wreck your family, wreck your reputation, wreck, destroy everything. The thief he's called, that when he comes, there is no sparing. He is vicious, merciless in his operation. He will steal, he will kill, and he will destroy. Now, from a purely physical and biological standpoint, it is impossible to live a life, I wrote here, that captures total health, longevity, listen now, impact, favor, advancement. You cannot experience all of this from a purely biological standpoint. No, something will be wanting in your life. You cannot enjoy total health if all you have is just biological life. No matter how you eat well, no matter how you do your gym, profitable as they are, demons don't care whether you are gymming every day or you are eating cabbages and veggies. When they come, they are vicious. They will plant wicked diseases that you cannot trace to any mismanagement in terms of nutrition. Satan for you. Hallelujah. How about longevity? Do you know? The Bible says, with long life shall I satisfy you and show you my salvation. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to live long if you don't live well. Because it becomes like a curse. There are many people today, long life is a curse to them. I tell you the truth. They pray for death and pray for death and the spirit of death will never come to them. Do you know why? Because the devil enjoys their being tortured. They are kept in a state where they cannot help themselves, but they become liabilities to any other person, yet they will not die. Do you know the Bible says when the church is raptured, it said that because of the persecution of the Antichrist, this death that people are running away from, that people will come to the mountain and say, fall on us, so that we'll die and escape this, and death itself will run away from them. It is not wise to just live long if you are not going to live victorious. With long life will I satisfy you, but within that long life I will show you my salvation. Hallelujah. Now, please don't, don't feel sad, and, 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 and this is not to play with your emotions. I've had the honor of praying for people, and I've had the time, I've, I've seen situations where families themselves, out of love, they pray for their loved ones to just die. Not because they hate them. There are people who live perpetually in pain, and after 10 years, they are still there. They can't move. They can't use the toilet, they can't stand, they can't do anything. People have to resign their jobs to stay with them. And these are family members. I pray for you in Jesus' name. If you must live long, live well. Receive it as a prophetic word. If you must live long, live well. You will not live long and sick. Shout a believing amen. You will not live long and the only part of your body moving is your eyes. Every other part of you is dead. Yet for 10 years you will still be alive. That is torture like hell. I tell you. You ask medical practitioners. Sometimes even though they have the versatility of experience. They've had to stand before patients to cry and weep like children. Hallelujah. You see people damaged and degenerated as if they are not God's creation. And yet they will not die. I'm saying it to you again. If you must live long, receive the grace to live well. So from a purely biological standpoint, it is impossible to capture within that life unassisted by the presence of eternal life many possibilities like supernatural health longevity with dignity a life of impact from a kingdom standpoint a life of favor a life of advancement there are defects and limitations that come with living purely biologically that is what we call existence not living and there are many people who are just existing and not living celebrating birthdays every year wonderful as it is 
but with nothing credited to their life that demonstrates dignity. If all you have in this place whilst you are listening to me and across the airwaves is just biological life, the life that came from your mother giving birth to you, I congratulate you for being alive, but there is an effective superior life that Jesus came to give us. Are we together? It's called Zoe, his life. It's not the life given to Christians. It's the life given to all men who believe in Jesus. Let me repeat myself again. It's not a life given to Christians. The Bible says, whosoever believeth on him, John 3, 16, whosoever, an unbeliever who believes in him, a supposed outcast who believed in him someone who has had your life destroyed and degenerated by wrong decisions that at the point you believe in him there is a law in the spirit that you should not perish but have everlasting abundant superior life in all its ramifications but i am come that ye may have life and to have that life more abundantly now this is the zenith of my charge this night listen carefully Enjoying and maximizing the Zoe life demands that you walk in keeping with four factors. Enjoying, please write, enjoying and maximizing the Zoe life, this eternal life, this all superior life that has come from Jesus to us as a gift. Enjoying and maximizing the Zoe life demands that you walk in keeping with four factors if you do not understand this part then tonight's miracle service will hardly profit you are you ready number one the first factor that you must walk in keeping with if you are to enjoy and maximize this eternal life is that you must number one have an encounter with Jesus, the son of the living God. Jesus, the son of the living God. The first factor that you must walk in keeping with if you want to receive, enjoy, and even maximize this new life called eternal life. A non-negotiable condition and in order of priority, you must encounter Jesus the son of the living God. Very quickly, 1 John 5, 11 and 12. 1 John 5, 11 and 12. This is the record or the testimony that God had given to us eternal life. The Bible says, and this life is in his son. Verse 12. He that hath the son hath life. And he that hath not the son hath not life. It's as simple, as clear as that. In John chapter 3 from verse 15 to 17, Jesus is speaking with Nicodemus that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, 15 says, but to have eternal life. Now verse 16, popular scripture, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. 17, it says, God did not send his son. I wish many people would hear this. That God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world. But that the world through that son might be saved. Are we together? The first demand that you must walk in keeping with. Is an encounter with Jesus the son of the living God. Number two. The second demand, the second factor that you must keep to enjoy and maximize eternal life. Are you ready? Is knowledge. 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 The administration of eternal life like you have learned again and again in this house is knowledge dependent. Say knowledge. Now, back to my example of your applications and the updates. So here you are having various updates. Sometimes it will list as much as 10, 15 updates. Are we together now? And it gives you the liberty 
to if you know how to use them well you can update every one of them but in ignorance you will not even know you are supposed to update the applications so even though it has been given it takes knowledge Ephesians 4 18 having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their hearts you can be genuinely saved genuinely saved the same way the app was really at your phone your phone has that application but never enjoy the riches that come with that life you need knowledge the knowledge of the promises and the benefits that come with this life you have received and scattered all through scripture you find it in Psalm 103 you find it in you know all through the Gospels and even the epistles various expressions of these promises and these benefits that come with the Zoe life I've taught you many times the Bible says bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name verse 2 says bless the Lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits this scripture has a capture of some of them number one who forgiveth all thine iniquities number two who healed all thy diseases number three who redeemed thy life from destruction deliverance number four who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies number six who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagle this is a, a capture of some the many other benefits but you must know what has come to you on account of this eternal life. So the first factor is an encounter with the son of the living God. Number two, knowledge. Number three, what is the third requirement? To enjoy this life that you have received in Christ. Faith to appropriate the promises that come with that life. Again, faith to appropriate the promises that come with that life. What is faith? Action. What is faith? Obedience. Faith to appropriate the promises that come with that life. Knowing that you have been given exceeding great and precious promises is not enough. You must have the faith to engage. The faith to obediently engage with the promises, to appropriate the promises that come with that life. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38. Enjoying eternal life as the just happens by faith. Now the just shall live by faith. And if any man draws back, he says, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. I think it's 39. Let's try 39. If it has something I'm looking for. Yes. He says, but we are not of them who draw back in unto perdition. He says, but of them that believe unto the saving of the soul. Your believing is unto something, salvation. The journey of the believer and your excelling, as far as this faith life is concerned, as far as eternal life is concerned, is faith dependent. Many times they cried unto Jesus, increase our faith. And he did not consider their request as unnecessary. The Bible lists for us various levels of faith. You have been taught here. A quick recap. No faith. Little faith. Great faith. Exceeding great faith. These are the four levels of faith. And all of them do not purchase the same dimension of spiritual reality. No faith. Little faith. Great faith. Exceeding great faith. Hallelujah. This is the victory that overcometh the world, the Bible says, even our faith. So you need an encounter with Jesus, the son of the living God. Second, you need knowledge. High level spiritual illumination as touching the promises and the benefits that come with this life. Number three, the faith to engage, the faith to appropriate the promises that come with this life you have received. Finally, are you ready? The final factor you must walk in keeping with is that you must understand the warfare dimension of experiencing eternal life. The warfare dimension of experiencing eternal life. The warfare dimension of experiencing eternal life. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12, please.
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, hmm. against spiritual wickedness in high places. Look up, please. Let me pause for a moment here and pass a very quick comment here. For many people, they believe that the warfare of the believer is just at the realm of the mind. I don't agree. Rulers are not thoughts. Are we together now? Rulers are real spirits with presence and personalities. Are we together? Jesus casted out real spirits from people. He didn't cast out imaginations alone. There were real spirits in people who spoke to him. He spoke back to them, asked them to be silent and casted them away. Are we together now? Angels are a cater of spirits. Demons are a cater of spirits called unclean spirits. There are unclean thoughts. There are unclean imaginations. But there are unclean personalities who have life called spirits. If your only understanding of warfare ends in the realm of the mind, you will not do justice to your victory. There are thoughts, yes, are in the realm of the mind. Imaginations sponsored by spirits yes but there are real personalities that are sent to visit oppress manipulate believers and unbelievers alike they are called unclean spirits jesus gave us power against unclean spirits to cast them out are we together so i just needed to take a pause there to help you know that when it has to do with warfare a major part of warfare happens in your mind, but it does not stop there. The belief that warfare just ends in the mind is not very accurate. You will confront real spirits in your life. Real spirits. With personalities like any other spirit. Hallelujah. So when we stand upon the strength of the finished work of Christ, on one hand, we're standing upon the victory that has been finished in Christ. But then we engage these appropriation systems. An encounter with the Son of God makes that life available to you. Knowledge begins to diffuse that life into your experience. Are we together? Yeah. Faith makes it a reality. Warfare helps you to maintain that victory. Because I assure you, even Jesus, when he walked upon the earth, as the Son of God, the embodiment of that Zoe, the logos of God in action, Satan did not fold his arms and leave him. I overcame. Hallelujah. He won the victory. Hallelujah. I overcame. Hallelujah, I overcame, hallelujah, he won the victory, hallelujah. I have met many demon spirits in my life as a man of God. I know they exist. Number one, because the Bible says so. Number two, I have not just seen them, they have confronted me. I'm not talking of a dream. You slept and had a dream and saw whatever it is. And I'm not talking of a movie where you are watching all kinds of things. I have met spirits. They have spoken to me. I have seen them. The memory is etched in my mind forever. I know how they look. I can draw them. You see, the things we have seen. I have seen spirits that oppress people. I have seen spirits that control poverty. I've seen spirits that come in and slip their way through destinies and begin to rewrite rubbish. Some of you are here right now because of the negative influence of those spirits. Casting a negative embargo upon your life that makes things to not be the way God says should be. Even though you have received eternal life, you cannot see the outworkings of eternal life. No favor, no grace, all doors closed, all helpers departed from you. Only evil report gets to the ears of your helpers. Everything good you do, there are spirits that hold them and bury them. And the only thing that proceeds to those who can help you is something negative about you. Calling good evil and calling evil good. Spirits for you. 
Hallelujah. Let me tell you the truth. Behind most of the tragedies of the saints and the inhabitants in the earth are a myriad of evil spirits walking day and night to make sure they kill everything they can kill. When the Bible says the thief comes to steal, he does not walk alone. Satan is not omnipresent, he's not omniscient, he's not omnipotent. He walks with an array, there is an, an organized satanic cadre. Paul himself gave us an intelligent exegesis that the demonic realm is arranged with intelligence. Satan was once with God and he did not lose the memory of organization when he fell. He has an array of wicked spirits programmed to regions, programmed to offices, programmed to families, programmed to individuals. Every believer in Christ has at least one set of spirits sent to you. At least a set. And a set is not one. If you ever had the voice of one, you are joking. The demon spirits that are on earth and around this domain, they far outweigh the inhabitants of the earth such that a legion can manage one body. Did you hear what I said? There is such scarcity of accommodation for demon spirits that a legion should be about six to 10,000. They can make do with one body. So if you think it's only two spirits looking for you, I want you to think again. When you said, God, I will serve you, they had the confession. When you say, God, use me, they had the confession. Are we together? When you prayed and you said, God, let me be the first person to take away shame from my family, they had you. It is not God that responds to the prayers of the saints alone. Demons also respond to the prayers. When they see you fasting and praying, they see something rising from your room to the heavens. They are sent. What is going on here? We need to find out. Okay. Ah, he's praying in tongues. We cannot understand. We are not given to understand. But let's study the activities of angels to give us a clue of what he's asking. Because the angels ascend and descend. They excel in strength and they confirm the word. So they may not know what you are saying in the prayer language. But they can see the returns, ascensions and descendings. They see what the angels are bringing. Favor has a, is a spiritual substance. You can see it in the spirit. And know the difference between favor and any other spiritual thing. Physically, they, they are very abstract to the mind. But in the realm of the spirit, you can see favor. There is substance to favor. There is substance to speed. Hmm. Are we together? Oh. Oh. Sometimes they see angels coming and there are certain angels the moment demons see they know that there is you are entering a new season in your life go and read your bible you will never see gabriel roaming around the earth but if gabriel shows up he's bringing a message that defines seasons you will never see michael showing up just like that no there are rankings among these spirits So when certain angelic activities begin to happen, the signal is sent across the earth. Because with what is happening in your room, the salvation of 10 million people is connected to it. And the demons will not keep quiet. They will say, you know what? Attack this person as fast as you can. Before the ministry starts. Attack the prayer life. Attack, bring poverty. Make sure the helpers don't reach there. My goodness, I came tonight to disappoint darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I came tonight to establish over your life once and again the victory that is settled in Christ. Do you believe that? This is why we are here. Now listen to me. When we gather in an apostolic and prophetic atmosphere like this, it is important for you to know what God wants to do. Number one, God wants to heal. He wants to heal. The meaning of that is that if you are sick and you are in need of healing, physical, emotional, etc., open up your heart to know that the grace to make that possible is there. And then know how to respond accordingly so you don't share the grace don't come here sick and allow the grace to be shared and you walk back it is your responsibility to connect with the anointing what is God doing 
restoration we live in time how could God ignore restoration we live in time did you hear what I said we live in time meaning that for the most part time is always always against many people what is God doing deliverance bringing separations do you know the reason why we hold services every time ministering to people you would think that because you've ministered once if I had my way every day or every week will be a miracle service in, a, in addition to teachings you know why and truly every week is it's just that there are times dedicated for this I'll tell you why number one because at the point you are ministering to people there are people who have not grown yet in their spiritual life to know that they need to receive so you don't punish them because of their carelessness by last month's miracle service some of you had not seen the need for it now you are better prepared to receive that's why God brings it again and then there are newer people who are coming to the faith every week and every time this is why in the package of a miracle service there are provisions for everyone if you have gotten to a point where your body has received the revelation of eternal life to live healthy how about advancement how about new wine how about open doors how about the assignment he gave you then how about your loved ones hmm. hallelujah how about poverty how about failure how about the attacks there are certain attacks around your life now that you do not yet have the level of illumination to walk in the experience of victory in. and if God does not create platforms like this for you to come under a prophetic covering to help you while you grow you may not even leave for that ministry to start God has called into an apostolic and a prophetic ministry. You have no idea the attacks that are before you. And so God brings you to be shielded. Even if you are Moses, he hides you for a while and allows you grow. Otherwise, if hell launches his attack and that attack meets with your ignorance, you will not even start the work in the first place. Yakare, Yakare. Ya kare su ya che ya kare Ya kare finished over in Christ Ya kare su ya che ya kare Listen hear me Do you know why some of us are in this state now and I want you to believe me there are battles your parents refuse to fight listen to me i'm speaking to you by the spirit there are battles that if your parents agree to fight by the spirit by now you would have been 10 years ahead of your contemporaries but you've not even started fighting your own battles for destiny you are still managing a backlog of battles and god sent you here to receive help and there are some of you right now, if you abscond from it carelessly, you are programming trouble for your children. Man of God, God has brought you here to help you. The kind of ministry God has given you, you do not yet have the stamina to excel in that ministry. And you take an arrogant, careless step without help, you will be surprised how you will go down. The satanic kingdom is an intelligent system. It's an intelligent system. The victory of the believer is established in experience on account of spiritual intelligence and faith. If all it took was just knowing what Christ has done, then God will not waste his time giving us the anointing. The presence of the anointing is clue as to how stubborn Satan is. Did you hear what I said? The presence of the anointing, in spite of the finished work of Christ, the presence of the anointing that God still anoints and re-anoints in ever-increasing measure is proof that there is a stubborn satanic cadre that will not let your destiny go, not without a fight. And while I was praying, I cried to God. I said, Lord, let this miracle service not just be a waste of people's time. Let it be that somebody will come here. Look at the testimony of the lady. Bleeding profusely. You heard the testimony. Look at that kind of demonic thing. Bleeding profusely. 
and yet medical science could only go so far the enemy has done this you may not be bleeding as a woman but when you see blood stands for life when life is drained out of you what is left is death life can be represented as your finances can be represented as any other thing but the woman with the issue of blood said i will not wait till he comes to me jesus had no business seeing her she created space for her miracle that day if you were jesus's secretary that morning you would not record as part of his itinerary that he was going to heal a centurion nor a woman with the issue of blood the major miracles that happened that day came on demand anger and hunger combined together if you were writing as a secretary of jesus you probably would not write that today part of the itinerary is that a a woman with the issue of blood 12 years all of them were 12 12 years old jarius daughter 12 years the woman's problem 12 years and two of them got angry and said today is today like someone needs to be angry whether a word of knowledge comes from me or not one thing i know is i'm not walking out of here the same way i came listen it's going to be a very quick one and as i pray for do you know why many people don't get healed it's not because the power of god is not in you know in a place where god is moving is that most of them don't know how to engage as the power of God rests upon you, do what you couldn't do before and begin to celebrate when it's time to announce miracles. Don't sit back there. Don't say, I am far there. No. As the fire of God comes upon you, sometimes I ask the ushers to bring the people out. It's not showmanship. There are levels when God has lifted you. Every point to be proven has been proven. You see, when we ask people to come out here who are under the influence of the anointing, it is because there is a completion to that process of deliverance that God makes. Sometimes I wish we had all the time to prophesy one by one. If I mention a case that is your own, don't waste the time of others and just stroll and come out as if you are taking your time. If you are not sure, sit down. Don't allow someone go back without their miracle because you are careless. Are you ready now? Father, I am ready to receive. Pray violently and passionately. Go ahead and pray. Outside, pray. All the overflows, pray. Online, make sure you pray. Hallelujah. Everybody pray. Sing that stanza once for me and then Yakari. Beautiful stanza. Go ahead, Dave. Sing for me. Everyone pray. Come on, pray. Tonight is your night. Shata baleka paradusiata. Are you praying? My life is engraved in the palm of his hand. Tonight is my night. An end to oppression. An end to delay. I care. Yes, we are 
Hallelujah. Now please listen to me. Listen to me. I'm receiving an instruction in my spirit and I want you to just cooperate with me. We're going to shout the word hallelujah, which is the word halal Yeshua. It means praise the Lord. The name Lord is the word Adon. It means the ruler, the owner, the absolute manipulator of systems and structures and spirits and men. They all belong to him. So when you say hallelujah, what you are saying is halal Yeshua. Praise Adon. Are we together? Praise Adonai. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We are going to shout this seven times. Just obey instructions. At the seventh shout, many things will begin to happen there will be a massive deliverance and please help me now as much as we have many ushers but they are very limited we need to walk very fast if someone is under the anointing close to you whether or not you are an usher if i demand that you bring them out please do help us you can bring them out even if you are not an usher you'll be given the liberty just to come and drop them to help the ushers there's only so much they can do are we together now, why do we do this? Because in this prophetic act is the liberty of many people. Let me tell you how spirits work. I have taught you here. Spirits work like an octopus. You know how an octopus is? With many tentacles, many expressions. It can touch various aspects of your life. And you will think there are many spirits. It's the same network of spirits. It's the reason why when those spirits are casted out of your life or your domain, in one moment, you will see several things returning back to order. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray. Don't worry, guys. Okay, you can shift whatever you have to shift. And then we'll just work with what is available. Weather is very hot. Already, the angels of God are in this place. It's not just the Holy Spirit. They're excelling strength. Every row, every place waiting for that stirring of the water are you ready seven hallelujah by the spirit of god i will give you the counting and you will shout at the seventh time i want you to shout with all your heart and that fire will fall opening doors breaking chains bringing restoration blotting out handwritings in experience are you ready father we honor you tonight this is a miracle service Proceed by your word and bring liberty to your people to the glory of the name of your son. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Number three. My God. Number four. Number five. Get ready now. Number six. Finally, I release the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Let every darkness bring them out. Let every chain, let every spirit that has tied down men, tied down destinies, release them now. Release them now. Release them now. By the fire of the Holy Spirit, every demonic occurrence around your life in the name of Jesus, be delivered. Bring them out very quickly in the name that is above all names. Sheka parakatos kaprakatelekatos krate bagate baratus yata. Spirits of inheritance, curses and yokes, spirits of ancestry, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Sing that song for me again. In the name of Jesus. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lord. Bring them out. My sins are forgiven. I'm a new man. I've been redeemed in the palm of the Your life is turning around for good.
while still praying I want to pray for you right now I'm hearing the sound of chains I'm not seeing it but I'm hearing the sound of chains and I have the ministration in my spirit that these chains represent yokes of delay tying people down and will not let you go forward I pray for you right now let that fire fall upon every individual and every family my God every chain that has kept you in the same position right now in the name of Jesus and at the count of three let that chain be broken one two three break now break now break now break now let that chain be broken 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 in the name of Jesus the son of the living God all kinds of chains anti-destiny spells be broken now hallelujah the Lord is asking me to pray you have had a strange occurrence where demon spirits come to sleep between the night they use the faces of individuals male or female it does not matter when good things are about to happen listen to me then you go to bed in the night and that molestation happens by the next day the opportunity is just aborted i pray for you now let the fire of the holy spirit anyone under the sound of my voice and you are a victim of this demonic molestation at the count of three be released right now one two three be released right now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah we are still praying mysterious dreams seeing yourself writing exams without passing seeing yourself in secondary schools homes and places that you left years ago i tell you they have prophetic implications by the god of heaven everything that connects you with yesterday the course of yesterday the tragedy by god fire is falling i decree right now be delivered 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 now we will sing hallelujah until you come again we will sing hallelujah till you come Sing hallelujah till you come again. We will dance in your breast till you come again. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Deborah, who is Deborah? I'm hearing a name in my spirit. Deborah, your time has come. Malasco brande geberatus here. You don't have to crowd, don't worry, you just stand where you are. Deborah, this is what I'm hearing. The Lord is visiting a Deborah. Captivity is coming to an end. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands by the prophetic and the apostolic over Deborah. The plague of witchcraft be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Over Deborah, be broken now. Be broken now. I set every altar speaking against Deborah on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire. Let that altar catch fire now. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are King. Yes, the world. Bow down and say you are God. Every man. Bow down and say you are King. Hold on. I'm hearing in my spirit rebuke the curse that is upon firstborns. 
rebuke the curse that is upon my God. Fire is going to fall here now. If you are a firstborn, every curse not allowing you to move forward making your younger ones to go ahead of you by the apostolic and the prophetic be delivered now be delivered now bring them out every course of the firstborn first male first female first child tying your destiny down and will not let you move forward this is koinonia be delivered now Bring them out. Bring them out. My God. Shataka. Hallelujah. Do you know what God showed me that I started praying? God flashed the image of people and the various idols afflicting them. I just saw it upon their heads. I pray for you. Anything your forefathers worshipped that is affecting you now, especially if you were supposed to take over the priesthood, fire is coming upon you right now. Anyone who is a victim of the consequences of idolatry, shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Shout Jesus right now. Every idol, every altar, every enchantment, you come under fire now. You come under arrest now. The cause of idolatry, I'm still praying. The cause of idolatry, you may not have known they worship idols. They kill children to service those altars. And before those who died, died, they uttered curses and said it will not be well with your children. I come by the prophetic. Anyone here who is a victim of the ill speakings of man, consequences of idolatry, right now, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered by mercy. Be delivered by grace. Be delivered by mercy. There is a gentleman here. Please listen. If it's not for you, don't waste our time. Just sit back. But there is a gentleman here. You are supposed to be the direct person continuing the idolatry where you come from. And you have rejected it. And this thing, you keep seeing these things in your dreams. Where is that person? I want that person to come. I presume there might be a number of them directly you know not assumption you are supposed to be the one to take over the helm of affairs as far as priesthood is concerned please if that gentleman is around whether inside or outside I want him to come out I want to pray for you there is a family that I'm seeing here I may not ask you to come out for space but you are from Benway State there is a mysterious altar God wants to pull down now this thing has affected everybody in that family Benway State this is what God is ministering to me father by the Spirit of God you didn't come alone no it was a family nobody progresses in that family no matter what happens educated but suffering as if you're uneducated it's a yoke of darkness that course is about to break now do you have that gentleman you are supposed to continue did you verify it? Where are you from, sir? Huh? Iju Akure. You are from? Iju Akure. Where is that? Ondo State. Ondo State, Akure. You were supposed to carry on with the priesthood. My father was, he rejected Just a it. moment, let me hear. Yes, go my, ahead. My father was, he rejected it. And of Your father rejected it. So automatically. And then it came to you. But I didn't take it either. You rejected it too. And it seems to have backfired. You will be delivered now, sir. Amen. How about this gentleman? Please, very quickly. I was told that I was supposed to carry on the family lineage. You are an international guest? Yes, Coming yes, Coming from? From Belgium, sir. Okay, what happened? Uh, I was told I was supposed to carry on in the family lineage. My father originally comes from Ijebode, and I was supposed to carry He comes on. from Ijebode? Yes, sir. I see. Yes, sir. And I was supposed to carry on that family tradition. You see, Ba, this thing will follow you to America, for wherever it doesn't... A plane does not take away demons. No. That you enter the plane to a foreign land. If you don't settle this by light and by power, that thing will follow you to the ends of the earth. 
there are many people with all due respect in america have you seen people who spend decades abroad and return back like they just came out of prison don't feel embarrassed my dear friend i'm going to pray for you who else why are you lifting your hands from where from where Oh, my Benway people, hold on, hold on. Be organized now. Remember, I gave you a... Just calm down. You are here for a miracle service. Are you a family? No, you are not a family. Let me hear that woman who is crying. Give her the mic. Madam, no crying, straight to the point. Just... Okay, go ahead. I'm seeing her with children. Give her the mic. He's too, too Yes, I bury my Sydney every two, two years. See, even this one has challenges. This my son, every two, two years. Every two, two years, you bury every your Sydney. Every two, two years. Well, Don't worry, I'm, I'm, coming, I'm praying against patterns. There are people who have those patterns. So every predefined time, something must happen. Either someone dies or someone goes down or women return back to their parents' homes or men return back. Anything that is a pattern, let me even pray it already. In the name that is above all names, I say it by the Spirit of God. Receive it all. Every parasco parita barantasiata. Every pattern, repetitive negative cycles. Hear me. In the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of my covenant that if there be anything that is a pattern around your life, let that pattern be broken now. 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 As you shout amen, let it be broken now. Yahweh Sabah, Yahweh Sabah, Yahweh Sabah, Yahweh. Ta -da 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 -da. patterns i've seen it all i've seen intelligent people your grandfather begged with phd the son begged with phd there are children they can school anywhere but the only way they live is by begging and they're not lazy and then if somebody emerges and is the one to wipe the tears of the family even an ordinary bike will kill that person any programming against your family in the name of jesus christ i call upon the god of heaven let let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now let the god of vengeance help this woman let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now Whatever you tolerate will keep growing in your life. Did you hear what I said? Hallelujah. There are people who never eat from their children. Please listen. I'm speaking to you prophetically now. They give birth to children. But even at 45, 30, 35, 55... Even at all those ages, listen to me. The children will have to eat from the parents. Have you seen people like that? Yes. Parents are retired, but from their gratuity. That's what they will carry to feed the man who has his wife and has the children. When I'm praying for patterns, if it does not concern you, no problem. You can keep your hands when I'm praying about what concerns you. But please, don't lose out this opportunity. For some of you, God has been showing you mercy. Again, I'm praying. Everything that is not written in this scripture, that is happening in your life and stopping your life from being an expression of God's grace, in the name of Jesus, we bury it this night. We bury it this night. We bury it this night. 
for sake of time we can't have everybody come but the families from Benway State just lift your hands I don't care what the altar is called and I don't care how long it has stayed my God fire will fall on you as I'm praying for you now physically may something be happening in your village as I pray and anyone I remember I think it was was it that we're still in Zaria listen was it that we're still in Zaria or we had moved to Abuja one miracle service I was praying I remember and I, I think God brought a word of knowledge particularly concerning Benway now I have no prejudice for any state mine is to minister as the Spirit of God leads but I remember seeing a tree and something tied on that tree one miracle service and I had a name called Aleku Aleku something Aleku or Aleku something like that and that is a vicious altar some kind of spirit that can make people's leg to swell till they die or make something happen to people. I pray for you, whether that concerns you or not, in the name of Jesus. I'm using Benway as a point of contact for every other place. If there is any altar tagging you and not allowing you move, I'm coming to pray for business people shortly. But right now, I break those covenants. Listen, listen to me. I want you to trust what God is doing here. You will be surprised at what happens to you. Please don't feel bad, but God is giving me this word for a particular woman. About a month ago, your daughter died. I don't know if she's been buried or not, but God is saying I should pray for that one person. Your daughter, not your child. Your daughter died. You are the mother. You came here. I don't know whether you are old or young, but your daughter died. This was over a span of a month ago. If that person is here or outside, please let me have the person out. I will pray for you. But whilst we are waiting for that person, I want to minister Imo State. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria, and I'm seeing Imo State. Imo State. The spirit that makes only one person to rise, then the rest beg from that one person. This is what the Lord is telling me. Do you hear what I said? Only one person rises and the other people, they only live by begging that one person. It is not the way God helps believers. God's desire, yes, somebody can start, but eventually that people have their own standing too. Therefore, every spirit responsible for that satanic effect in emo state right now be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Hallelujah. I want to pray for someone. Your uncle is a policeman. Your uncle, not your father, not your brother. Your uncle is a policeman. I want to pray because I'm seeing them go uh, an operation over terrorists and I'm not seeing the person return. And the Lord is saying I should pray. Don't be afraid. When God reveals, is to redeem. Your uncle is a policeman. Who is that person? Where is he? Huh? Hold on, just... Who, who is that person first? You are an international guest? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from U.S. He's in Texas. Okay. Your uncle is a policeman, yes, not sir. your brother. No, my brother, what my of, uncle. What of this one? Why are you here, my, my dear? My uncle is a policeman, sir. Huh? My uncle is a policeman. Where? The, the Kaduna, sir. Kaduna? Yes, sir. The lady? Kefi. Hold on, hold on. Yes, this lady. Kefi. Uh-uh. Kefi. Kefi. Yes, sir. Who? That one? My uncle. My uncle. Where? Here, in Abuja. In Abuja? Yes, sir. Whose uncle... Is a policeman in the south 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 where in benin benin uh, those states where huh plateau is not south south plateau is middle belt where huh? come again onicha where portacot Port yes. benin onicha uh, this death i'm seeing is happening in the south south 
they are going to go and raid something and I'm seeing them part of those that were, are gruesomely killed. Don't feel bad. This now I'm not a prophet of doom. Cross River is already dead. No problem. You feel sad. May so rest in peace. I'm talking of the one that is alive right now. Don't be afraid. I want to pray for you, madam, and all of you. South, south. I will pray for everyone, but I'm seeing this south, south. It's an operation that they went for. Maybe to, you know, their normal duty as police people, but I'm not seeing him return. And the way that they kill that man is a bad way. It's not like maybe it's just a gunshot. It's like these guys, I'm seeing a, a very cruel death. But I pray for you. You came here tonight. He says, as for me and my house, in the name of Jesus, everyone here, and I'm praying for police officers across this nation, in the name of Jesus, you will go for your operations and return back. You will go for your operations and return back. In the name of Jesus, every programming of death, using the official duties of your loved ones, that they will go for operations and yet not return. Whether it's your father, your uncle, your loved one, in the name of Jesus, I send a prophetic word ahead of them. Let it protect them till they return. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for you and you, sir, by the power of the Holy Spirit, every altar that will not let you rest. Do you know, listen to me, even salvation, you have a right to reject it. Talk less altars. Are we together? As, as, a, as a human being, you can choose to say, Jesus, I've heard your message, but I reject you. And God will respect your choice. He will prevail upon you. He will encourage people to push you to the cross. But he will not force you. No altar has a right to force anyone to say you must carry it. It's a lie. It's against the way the realm of the spirit works. Even God, Jesus Christ said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. The door of the heart of his creation. No herbalist and no demonic thing should come and say, If you don't carry the priesthood, you will fail. I'm telling you now, from the authority of scripture, it's a lie. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, my friend, and all of you who have been victims of this thing. For no matter how long this has been and the negative consequences that have followed you, I stretch my hands towards you. Be set free this moment. Be set free this moment. All the visions and the dreams you have of oppressions, they come to an end now. The Lord is healing people of blood diseases. Blood diseases. This is what I'm hearing. Blood diseases. All of you in front here, I decree and declare. Your liberty is confirmed. Your liberty is established. There is a lady you came here with the issue of blood. Just like our sister who was sharing a testimony here. In fact, it was as if she was describing you. As I'm speaking right now, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. That demonic oppressive flow of blood. Sometimes you feel dizzy because of how much blood you have lost this what i'm seeing in my vision in the name that is above all names may the lord bring you healing permanently Amen. healing permanently Amen. lay your hands on your body right now you are trusting god for a miracle a healing miracle go ahead place your hand and i want you to believe place your hand and i want you to believe koinonia is a place of healing place your hand and i want you to believe I want you to believe. I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Jesus still heals. My God. Jesus still delivers. Now here's what will happen. As I speak, some of you, whilst you came here, the healing power of, the, of God had rested upon you. As I pray for you right now, I want you to remember the instruction I gave you while I was teaching. I want you to check yourself and don't sit back when you see that the anointing of the spirit has touched you whether you are outside whether you are inside some of you came on wheelchairs some of you came holding crutches some of you hearing aids some of you came with various parts of your body unable to move mobility issues some of you came you look healthy but there are all kinds of growths and satanic manifestations in your body some of you organ failures some of you various parts of your body your eyes your ears some of you need creative miracles because as it stands you have damaged organs in your body 
and what a joy to know that our miracle services are being aired across hospitals clinics wards it is such an honor to be able to bring the power of jesus to hospitals and by the way let me take a moment to thank the cmds or the various heads of the units or the hospitals who air our miracle services it's an honor for us to be able to bring the healing power of jesus to as many who we may never see and may never know place your hand um i'm going to pray for you now but there are two people one two who will shout under the anointing the moment they shout under the anointing loud to the hearing of everybody the healing power of jesus begins to flow sometimes like i've told you i don't know why god does these things the way he does but i believe that he does that probably to build the faith of the people and then to let you know that the god who can program something this accurate how do you make mention of two people and say people are going to shout under the anointing you see how in the world do you explain that so i want to pray for you now you lay your hands and play something pray the strings for me and then we begin to pray i want you to believe you don't have to go back with that sickness you're on crutches you cannot walk get ready now as i pray for you don't be afraid lift it up and then you begin to walk you have an earring aid you remove it and test yourself you came with someone i want you to believe as you receive thank you jesus father thank you i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god every devil every demonic spirit that is back of any infirmity blood related bone related organ failure related mobility problem related it doesn't matter what form or fashion every contribution of any unclean spirit to your current health condition your current health status in the name of jesus we dislodge that influence from your body now we stay the power of that spirit from your body now shout a believing amen I decree right now he commanded us to heal the sick and I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus the one who died and rose again be healed now my God I just sense fire literally leaving my hands be healed now be healed now high blood pressure be healed now HIV be healed now own problems be healed now you could not walk lift your crutches and begin to walk now bone problems be healed now ear problems be healed now liver problems be healed now lumps growths and every kind of protrusions around your body I command it to die now There's someone you have a swelling somewhere inside your mouth i don't know where that is but in the name of jesus the lord is healing you now supernaturally the lord is telling me that there's someone you have a growth around your private area this thing you've tried to treat it and treat it and treat it it's been excruciating pain and embarrassment but i stretch my hands the lord is healing you now You were using a cotton board, like an ear board, and it moved inside from that time. You've had pain and discomfort in your ear, your right ear. The power of God is touching you now. In the name of Jesus. The left side of your nostril has a problem. There is a very discomforting feeling. You've had this for years. It's lingered for years. The left side of your nostril. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ there is a lady here you are not pregnant but you've been having the symptoms of a pregnant woman your stomach has not protruded but when you read about the things that happen to a pregnant woman especially ac across the first trimester these are the things happening to you it's a demonic thing I'm praying for you now be delivered from that negative experience your right eye 
you're not able to see very well with it there's a burning sensation be healed now Amen. there's someone i don't know if he's pile but you cannot sit down comfortably on a chair for a long time you begin to feel severe pain and discomfort the power of god is touching you now Amen. there's someone you were told in the hospital i don't know what organ maybe your heart or so that it is surrounded by fats and you will need maybe some medical attention else is going to hurt you i pray for that person right now in jesus name let mercy find you Amen. let mercy find you I once prayed for this case and the Lord is showing me again you have a severe case of snoring whether you lie down or sit down the moment you are asleep you snore so loud that people around you hear it's been very embarrassing it has nothing to do with being good or bad it's, it's something that if there is a medical name I believe for it but God wants to heal that person in the name of Jesus whatever it is that is around your respiratory system responsible for that discomfort and that anomaly be healed from it now be healed from it now the Lord is asking me to speak over a woman you're married you've never been able to get pregnant it's not that you lost the pregnancy it has never happened never you've not been able to get pregnant in the name of jesus wherever you are inside or any of the overflows outside or connected online by reason of this prayer let the power of the holy spirit rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now there's someone i need to pray for you you are losing your teeth You've lost a number of them, a significant number of them. And if I don't pray for you, you are told in the hospital that you have a condition that is literally spreading and you, you stand a chance of losing your entire teeth. In Jesus' name, wherever you are, following or here on sight, be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. If you came with a picture or point of contact for any sick person, lift it up and pray now. In the name that is above all names, for your loved ones represented, the photos, the materials, the medical reports that are lifted, your phones, I see their pictures. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring the healing power of Jesus to such persons. Shout a believing amen. Shout a believing amen again. The Lord is showing me someone when you go to bed you have a choking feeling it's as if there is a spirit that literally comes to choke your neck you have to struggle to wake up a similar thing happened to me for a, a great part of my life so i understand exactly spirits used to come and oppress me even when i started ministry i used to have that at the infancy of ministry you see that i mean you, you are sleeping and you know you are hearing people conversations but to wake up it looks like you are struggling i'm praying for someone now anyone who has had or is having that experience i set you free by the power of the holy spirit i set you free by the power of the holy spirit the lord is healing someone from stammering 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 be healed now there's a gentleman you are not able to bend over backwards you are a young man but it looks based on what is happening in your body it's almost as if you're in your 60s you are unable to freely bend over backwards and bend downwards in jesus name the power of god is touching you now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god receive your healing now outside receive your healing all the overflows receive your healing online receive your healing across the airwaves receive your healing in the main auditorium here receive your healing in the name of jesus christ now everybody while you are standing i want you to begin to pray and declare that what you have received is finding expression in your life hold on and then for all those i want you to check yourself you find out that there's a miracle that has happened to you leave your seat in a hurry and come and stand here very quickly we're going to have a few people so please 
If you come late, you might not have a chance to testify. Very quickly, check yourself. You see that there's a miracle. Do what you could not do if you came with someone. Help them release their faith. As soon as a miracle happens, please make your way very quickly to the front. We'll take a few testimonies and then we'll be praying over the request. But go ahead and pray everyone. Decree and declare that this that I have received, this that I have received, let's celebrate miracles while we pray. Those coming from outside, please protocol direct them so that they come quickly and then if you're coming from any of the overflows please let the ushers or protocol know that you are coming to testify and then they make room for you there are many who are coming give jesus praise while you pray 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 over yourself gentlemen you sing that song once for me again from start till yakare and then we are ready to take a few testimonies check yourself check yourself check yourself Check yourself. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. You can do what you couldn't do before. Make your way to the front in the name of Jesus. My life is engraved in the palm of his taking the testimonies how many of you are, you are ready with your prayer requests by the way how many of you believe that God answers prayers amen do you believe that right so very quickly whilst we're here please if you are yet to submit your prayer request here's what you do just pass it to anyone by the left or the right extremes of your aisle and then ushers will just come to pick it don't worry it's your request nobody's reading it this is between you and god but just to facilitate it especially for all the overflows those online there should be a link for you to send in your request we'll do that very fast while we're taking the testimonies and i want you to celebrate every testimony no matter how big or small they all came by the power of god are we together now so I want you to celebrate very generously as God is moving through his people and we'll make this really, really very fast. The more you thank God for his hand in the midst of his people, this is one thing I learned from Kenneth E. Hagen, from T.L. Osborne, and most of the people who were mightily used by God, especially in the area of healing. Right from the times when God began to do supposedly little things, little healings, I would celebrate every manifestation of his hand very generously 
and sincerely with a heart of gratitude. So this is one of the ways that you scale in the operation of the healing anointing to be grateful for everything that he does. Ready, guys? Okay, so let's take, let's take the testimonies. Yes, sir. Very quickly, your name right. and straight to the point. I'm Antonia Antoni. So I came here with pains from my armpit to... You came here with pains? Yeah, from my armpit How long has that been? For two weeks now. Okay. So when you said two people will be under the anointing... Yes. I was under the anointing and when I got up... Like, Completely. Lift your hands. Down. Yeah. Lift it again. Nothing. Gone forever. Yeah, yeah. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. Yeah. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Amen. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Next person, please. Good evening, son. My name is Daniel. I came with Pastor Larry. I always found myself as public speaking because I'm a stammering person. Even when I was in school, I was a fellowship president. You were a stammerer? Sir, he was healed from stammering. Really? Yes. I, I always found myself. Hallelujah. How long has this been? It has been a long time. Even when I was in school, I was a fellowship president. So I always found it difficult. But now, I could speak very well. My God, most of you don't know. This was Moses' problem. Oh. Moses complained about this thing before God. Stammering. It limits you. You want to express yourself, but you are incapacitated. This is a miracle, my God. I pray for you, my friend, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is how every other thing in your life will flow seamlessly. Amen and amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Next person. Yes, sir. Good evening, Kononia. My name is Kletus. I was having growth on my throat. I was feeling... Uh, growth? Yes, he had a growth. So okay. he had problems swallowing. Wow. So I find it difficult to swallow. But when you mentioned the case concerning growth, now I can swallow my spit. You can swallow yes, sir. freely in Jesus' name. Healed and perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. One more person and then we'll move to the other side. Praise the Lord. I'm by name Timson Johnson. I used to have a pen inside my mouth, but immediately after How long has that been? It has been for like one week. Yes. After the prayer, immediately it's gone. It's gone completely. Yeah. It never returns to you again yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge of those with eye defects. Now, yes. she went to the hospital last year and she was diagnosed of suspected glycoma and dry eye syndrome so she couldn't see in fact when she came she see her that's difficulty but yes. now she can see the screen she can see you you can see me yes sir clearly yes sir how long has this been um the diagnosis was in november yes but recently it became worse i had to buy some supplements last week mm. as i came this evening i was outside and i couldn't see the screen very well and now my right but now i could see well then, can you count how many fingers yes four one, three. No, no. Okay, this is making a mistake. Two, five. Give Jesus praise. Then I Amen. also had, I also had, I also had a pain in my abdomen here. I also went for scan last year. They didn't see anything, but I've been having this sharp pain, so unco yes. unco uncomfortable, uncomfortable. So as you were praying, I just felt this sharp pain just left me. Outside, Everything outside. that is not planted by God, that is how it will live your life forever. Amen. May God bless you, my dear. Never return to you again in Jesus' name. Next person, very quickly. You gave a word of knowledge of a woman feeling, having a sign of pregnancy. Now, she has had that for the past three years. But when you make mention of that, the power three of God years. came on. Yes, over three years. I've been always feeling as if I'm pregnant. Sometimes my stomach will even come up. My friend will be touching me, are you pregnant? I'll say no. My but God. when you said the word, I don't know how I was feeling. Even when I was coming, I was somehow feeling. Even my abdomen was burning me, but I can't feel it anymore. Place your hand there. I can't In feel it. In Jesus' name, healed forever Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. God bless you. Next person. Apostle, this is a footballer. He was hit on the pitch, and so he had difficulty in walking oh, and dear. squatting. But when you ministered, the power of God came on him, and You're now a footballer. he can squat. Where? So I, it was on my left leg. I was trying to guide the ball, so it hit me. I felt my groin, my left ankle. Yes. That at any time. What were you not able to do? So I could not twist it. I couldn't even climb the staircase today. I Run. was complaining. Run like a footballer. Squat. Look at this. 
Amen. Where do you play? So for now, I'm just playing a home-based team. You really want to move forward in your profession? Yes, Is sir. Is that what you want to do? Yes, sir. There is a kingmaker anointing. You see, listen, listen. Kingmakers never become kings themselves, but they enthrone and dethrone kings. I pray for you, my friend, if you believe in the name of Jesus, the grace that lifts men from nothing and announces them to their generation. May that grace, even as touching your sports, may that grace rest upon you now. Go and excel. May God bring strategic destiny helpers that will take you out of this country and announce you to your world. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Next, please. Very quickly. Apostle, another case of a sign of pregnancy since last year. A sign of pregnancy. My name is Jacqueline. I'm from Tanzania. You're from Tanzania? Yes. Okay. So since last year, September, I've been having like signs of pregnancy. And every time I go, to, I'm not married, but every time I go to the hospital, they'll tell me like it's nothing. But I feel pregnant, like the, I feel, you know, yes. yes, I feel like pregnant. So you mentioned that, that case today. But another thing, when I came here, I was okay. When you told us to shout like hallelujah, the seventh one, like I fell, and, and when they brought me here, I started having a very strong headache. So we have at our home a pattern of migraine, a very strong migraine for years. Mm. And for me, it will always come at the point whenever I'm fasting. I'll get serious migraines until I, I'm taken to the hospital. Yes. So after falling down there, it started like paining me so hard. But when I stood and I go back to my seat, you told us that uh, if just hold the place where I sit, then I held my head. And I told God, because I didn't be believe that okay can it really happen now so I was like I told God if you do it for me really now I'm going to testify I told God because I didn't believe that okay, right it can now. happen now but right now as I say I'm not feeling pain at all nothing completely completely Jesus still heals now God bless you my dear perfection for you in Jesus name amen let's take one more there our mommy here couldn't twist her hand for a very long time Yes, this go ahead. This middle finger, it has been a pain for the past uh, three weeks, close to a month. Yes. I've not been able to bend it like this. But when you said we should keep doing whatever, when you were praying, yes. I kept doing my hand like this. I didn't feel the pain. Now I can bend it very well because I can even take it back. And it's a great relief to me. In I've used so many ointment, but it's still not working. But I thank God. Perfection for you right Amen. now in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Hold on. Before we take this, listen. I want you to know that miracles are real. They really happen. You will be amazed to know how many people who are in church, who sit in the presence of real miracles, but they are still yet to be sure. Miracles are real. Not everybody is faking this thing. There are real miracles that happen by the hand of God. Are we together? My dream is that sooner or later, miracle services will no longer be for koinonia members. It will be an act of evangelism that for many people who are of this fold, when you come, there will really be nothing to heal and nothing to pray for because you would have so mastered the keys of the kingdom. What you do, it will just be an opportunity for growth and increase while bringing many others to receive. That's how it ought to be. Are we together now? Yes, go ahead, my friend. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, you gave a profound word of knowledge yes, sir. regarding someone that actually stuck a cutting board in his ears. Right one. It was you? Yes, sir. Okay. When you mentioned my case that the person that is using cutting board this early in January, then it started bringing blood. So, me and my friend, I say, ah, he says, sorry, I say, by God's grace, my papa will heal me. And you mentioned the person that he go to hospital feeling that something that it will affect his chest or this thing. You say perfection is healing is coming. Yes. How yes. do you feel now? I'm healed. I'm okay. Completely. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, the Lord brings you perfection. He brings you life even by his spirit. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. God bless you. Next person, please, very quickly. Hallelujah. I came here with a a pile problem 
that happened two weeks ago. I complained this to my friend. And my friend says to me that, how long have you been? Just came to me for a three days. For a three days that it just came at once. And I started feeling the pain. When I go to the restroom, I cannot, I cannot uh, uh, excrete very well. Then I would, it's not the one that used to come out, but it's uh, that one that it pains me. It pains me. Yes. But and what happened to you I now? I kept on praying. When I came, so, sir, he actually came with the pain after you prayed. He went to check himself and he's And you're fine he completely. Fine. Both of you? My yes. Own, my own is fine. So as I go inside the bedroom, I check everything was gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's listen to Mama's testimony. Someone help her. Have you checked her? Let's hear her. Okay. All right, Mama, go ahead. Okay. Daddy, Mama said that she could not see properly with her two eyes and that she always needed aid to move around. When you prayed about the right eye, the left eye opened. So she walked by herself without aid from the back to the front. So she said she was going to give the testimony, although you said the right eye, the left eye opened. That she was able to come here yes, by, by herself, herself unaided. God. Who came with her? She came alone? I what? came with my daughter. She added me to church. To church? Uh, no, that's fine. That's all right for sake of time. Okay, so what happened to her now, Mama? What has happened to you? Very quickly, my girl. The, I, the left one has opened. Two of them was involved. They were Two of involved. them were blind before? Yes. One is open now? Uh, open a letter that made me to walk from here. No, don't worry, Mama. Listen. To here. Sir? That's your mom, that's my dear? Right. Yes, sir. Is yes, that sir. true? Yes, sir. How has it been for her before now? Very quickly. She even had a surgery last year. Yes. But since then, she has not been seeing well. Even yes. when we came, I was holding her. But after the prayers, she was able to walk from that place to this place. My God. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help me place your hand on her eyes. I declare perfection that God who began this. You see how powerful this thing is? You see? that one miracle has begun in our life. It's not been perfected yet, but when you give God thanks for something that has started, are you seeing that now? Yes, this is called the walking of miracles. In Jesus' name, Mama, we pray that God will perfect you completely. The God that opened the left eye, may he open the right eye and perfect you completely. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. We have, okay. Apostle, when we did vaccination, she tested hepatitis B positive. But oh. as she was ministering, then she went back to the medical stand, and this is the doctor. They conducted the test twice, and she's negative. Negative for hepatitis. I'm negative. You are praying for, for swelling around the tooth. Then a sharp pain came out from my back. I, I bent down, I shouted. Then I checked the swell. It was not there. It's gone. Then I now run to the medical stand. Mm. That's when they checked this hepatitis B twice and it was gone. Completely. Yes. Let me hear from the doctor. Good evening, Daddy. So she came to the stand that she wants to run hepatitis test. So I did the first one. It was negative. So I wasn't sure. I had to call my colleague. I come and check what I see. He told me the result. So to confirm again, I had to do the test second time. And to God be the glory, it came out negative as Amen. well. Amen. In the name of Jesus, perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, God bless you. Yes, please. You mentioned a case of pain in the air as a result of cutting board. She has the challenge, and when you minister, the pain is gone. Gone she forever. Can hear clearly now. Yes, right. When you mentioned the case of um, cutting board in the right ear, it happened to me last year, and since then, I, when it happened, I poured oil and then I tried to turn my head the other side to think to see if it would come out. It didn't come out. And since then, anytime I blink, I feel the movement, but I've not known how to, how to bring it out. When you mentioned it, the, 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 the movement, it kind of, it was up and down. It sees, but when you... You when, used to feel it, yes, that there's something inside your ear. Yes, every time I blink my eye. When you mentioned it, I was still thinking, on the basis, should I come out yes. or not? Because it was still moving. But then I remembered what you said, that once you mentioned our case, you should just come out with faith. And since I've been, been on the queue, I've not felt anything again. In Jesus' name, you will never, never feel that demonic thing again. It dematerializes and leaves you forever. 
in Jesus' name. Let's take a few with Pastor Jakes. Yes, sir. Good evening, Koenonia. My name is Banu Adam Rema. Uh, I came here with neck pain. But neck pain? Moment, yes, exactly. Okay. And now? Uh, no, I'm not feeling Move it left and right. Any pain? Yes. Completely gone. You are perfected forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, next person. Good evening. I was having pain this afternoon when I came to church. Even when I, while I was dancing, I tried to even... This, this bottom here. I was having the pain, so I even danced. I was dancing, the pain was still there. But I keep dancing. After the prayer, the pain has gone. Gone completely. Yes, sir. Same thing happened. I had pains all over my abdominal region. I, I was fatigued, tired. I was just trying to cope. But when Daddy mentioned people with pains, I took it upon myself to That's say right. amen. I shake my body and I feel better. And it's better gone forever. Always. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare perfection for you both supernatural perfection that pain dies it leaves your body forever in jesus name god bless you very quickly all right sir. Uh, let's Similar see if we can case. take two or three more praise, mm. god. praise god okay i came from benin because i was having a lot of health challenges especially with my a strong face. anointing is going to come on two people one of them will start running please hold the person right now very strong anointing is going to come on one person and that that is a very dramatic empowerment it's a very unique grace that will speak in the person's place of work this is what i'm saying one of them will start running hold the person so they don't injure themselves Hold that lady. She's an usher. She's an usher herself. That lady is an usher. So let her receive before she gets back to do her work. She's an usher. You see that ushers too can receive. Just because you are walking, the Holy Spirit does not care. If your heart is open, you can receive. She's an usher. Please help her. Once she receives her own, she can go back and do her work. What a good way to serve. Like you are serving and you are receiving yourself. Hallelujah. There is still one more person. Please don't, don't mind me. Let me do my thing. I know when God is done, there is still one more person. In the congregation, not balcony, not around. One person in the congregation. So God does these things because he's responding to the hunger of people. You see, it is God who knows the troubles, the things that plague God's people. The answer to our problem is always the anointing. Coming through the word coming through prophetic ministrations there's one more person and then we get back to finalizing the testimony mm. mighty god you deserve the praise worthy is your name help me You are in this place and you are a businessman. The door of business has been closed since November last year. Nothing has happened to move you forward. I'm seeing a door open in the spirit. This is for business people. This is the major reason why you came. I said before you, I'm quoting revelations for you. The Lord is setting before you a very strange open door. That from tonight, no power will be able to shut that door. I'm saying it to you, April is your month back to back testimonies upon testimonies april is your month back to back testimonies upon testimonies i prophesy this to you if you believe it receive it and let it find expression in your life in the name of jesus christ people who never heard about your business there are angels that will noise your product noise your services abroad and you will receive mysterious calls calls that will lead to your rising calls that will restore you financially in the name of jesus please be seated yes go ahead praise god so i came from benin yesterday uh-huh because i'm having a lot of health challenges health especially, challenges especially with my feet 
my feet. I can't stand for more than three minutes and I can't sleep at night. So I came to church by eight today because I really wanted a change. While you were ministering, I was not able to stand. I was sitting down on my seat. And then you said we should receive strength to do what we could not do before. My leg that was paining me because of diabetes. You had diabetes? My God, look at this. Your leg is not paining me again and I can stand. Which of them, my dear? Both of them. Go ahead and walk. Diabetes. Both of she came here from Benin. From Benin. He does these things that men will fear him. He does these things that men will praise him. You see, you never know the price of a real miracle until you need one. The day the doctors tell you we've done our best and there's nothing else we can do. The day all the helpers, the Bible says that woman with the issue of blood, she was not careless. She spent all her earnings, not some, not part, all her earnings on physicians. And the Bible says she did not feel better in any way. When you exhaust your options and medical science, as limited as it is, is not able to help you. That's when you will know the value of a miracle. Sometimes you see people looking very healthy, but then they are plagued with cancer, plagued with whatever. Some of you may not immediately be able to check yourself because of the peculiarity of your situations. Don't share the grace and just go back home and forget. Go to the hospital. If our medical team is not able to check you, which I doubt, make sure that you go and check yourself and confirm your miracle. My dear, in the name of Jesus, the Lord brings you perfection. And everything you've lost or wasted as a result of this, let it be restored to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Let's have three more here and three more there. Then we speak over the rest for sake of time. Go ahead. So, sir, maybe we, yes, we sir. have just similar Yes, testimony. if, if there are similar cases, you can just combine them They've together. They've healed. So, he had a spirit leave him. He had a spirit leave you, yes. sir? Okay, you. What did you feel? I came here with a terrible headache. Headache. And noise. Noise in the, in the head. Uh huh. So the moment you began to pray against yes. evil altars, I literally felt that just left you. Felt when the spirits left. Yes. And the headache is Wave totally them gone. Wave goodbye. They go for good. Amen. They are not needed. Amen. They should go somewhere else. But as far as your destiny is concerned, you are free and free forever amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. Yes, please. So, sir, we have a few testimonies online, though. Um, so, okay. all these ones, they've been healed. Knee. Knee she pain. She had a problem with her knee, and she got yes. healed. Yeah, daddy, my, my name my name's uh, Darlene Tineke Chuku. I'm having, I'm a footballer. I'm having a serious Footballer pain. again. Yes, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus for this miracle. And we pray not only will God heal you like he's done, but may he lift you and may you be exalted in your career in the name of Jesus. I understand there are many, many miracles. Now, listen, because we're limited, there's only so much a miracle service. Those days uh, when the fathers held miracle services, it stretched for hours and even days. And so we try to manage within the time that we have. Um, so my apologies if you do come out and we're not able to do justice to your testimony. Remember, you can always submit it. And for those of you who connect online, everybody here and the entire Koinonia Global Family, I presume that you should be connected to all our platforms. If you are not right away, after service, you can connect. Connect on YouTube, connect on Facebook, Instagram, and do let others know, do let others know that this is what God is doing so that they can connect, receive updates, faith building updates. One thing you can be sure of is that on all our social pl media platforms, there is nothing there that is non-edifying to your spiritual life. Our media team have been trained. Anything you find on a social media platform, if you find nonsense on any platform, it does not belong to us. It may just be scammers or people writing nonsense. But anything you find on any Koinonia global platform, whether here or any other expressions, Azaria platform, US, Canada, UK, or any other expression, we have a creed, we have a rule. The only things that are posted are the things that will help you to be transformed, to know Jesus, and to inspire you through a great life. Okay, so please do well to take advantage of all our social media platforms. Very quickly, yes, sir. Okay, sir. We just have one last one, maybe a few online before. Yes, okay. Sorry, sir. 
So quickly, just... Okay, my name is Swachet. Um, while I was down, when you prayed about back pain, immediately I felt relief. But I was still reluctant to come up. My husband yes. said, just go and testify. So... I, I came and actually the back pain is no more there and yes, I'm free. Bend and see. Check. Any pain? Gone forever. Yes, God bless you. It never returns to you again. So Kenny, let's have one or two online. Apostle, Apostle, this is from Peace. My daughter's case was mentioned. It's called an enlarged adenoid which causes her to snore at night while she is sleeping. My baby of nine months has been fighting with this since she was four months and has been on antibiotics every month. Doctors even said she may be operated upon when she gets to one year old. But today, God has healed her completely. Amen. At the mention of that case, I have checked her and she is sleeping right now but not snoring anymore. Come on, give Jesus Hallelujah. praise. Apostle, this is a second one yes. from Goma. Apostle Joshua Selman mentioned a pain which he said comes when I sit, and he thought it was pile, but I knew it was an injured coccyx, well, that causes me pain when I sit. In August 2020, I missed the top step in our staircase at home, and I fell down on my bottom. And since that time, my coccyx causes me pain. When I sit in any chair, at work, in the car, or in the train or a bus, I have been bouncing on our couch, couch, and the pain is totally gone. Completely gone. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. Jesus is alive. The last one here, Apostle, is yes. from Bright. I used to have this hooking pain on my chest. Sometimes it comes from both sides and sometimes from the right side mm. of my chest. I've gone for test and scan and they said nothing is wrong. But I kept getting the pain for over a year now. And just after the prayer, I received my healing. Now I can breathe in deeply without feeling pain. Amen. Praise God. Let's give Jesus praise. Can we have one, two last ones? Yes, please. Go ahead. Pain in the ankle, pain at the nail, and pain at the back. That sometimes it cannot stand for long. It even falls. And it's but gone now. Pain is gone Perfected completely. forever. He Perfect. fell in the pool, and then he had difficulty in lifting up his leg. But now, now you are able to lift it. Let's give Jesus praise. Completely healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Low blood pressure healed. Low blood pressure. Yes, Perfected sir. forever. Never returns to you in the name of Jesus. Pain in the teeth and sep. Papa, I've been having severe back pain at my lower spine. Yes. If I bend down for a very long time, I will experience very severe pain. I will not be able to do anything. But right now, it's gone. Completely. Amen. Now, for all of you who are left, my sincere apologies again. You can always come by next week or during the week. Register your testimonies and our media team will do justice to let the world know what God has done as you allow. I declare perfection for all of you in the name of Jesus. Whether you were able to make it out um, here to testify or otherwise, in the name of Jesus, we declare perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Rise up on your feet, please stretch your hands towards your request. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found that. Truly, I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and I found Why do we pray? Because God answers prayers. Why do we pray? Because he's asked us to use prayer as a platform to make petitions and to obtain requests. Why do we pray? Because it's a platform that allows for intercession, meaning that you can reach someone who is not here, kilometers, nations, continents apart, like the centurion advocated for his son. Like Jarius' or the daughter, Jarius' daughter. You see that now. Make sure you understand why we pray. It's not a ritual. If you reduce it to a ritual, it has no power to deliver again. Believing that, let me request that you stretch your hands. Online, on site, outside, all the overflows. I will bow my knees to God as a sign of uh, um, humility and in a posture of intercession. 
and in one minute i'd like you to speak to the lord before i make declarations father visit me go ahead participate in your miracle i like prayer requests because they are the most accurate representations of your faith when we prophesy we see in part and we're limited um, by time when we minister to people there's only so much we can minister we can do but when people submit their requests um, you've taken your time to write these things and the Bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that you receive us them and you shall have them go ahead and pray so I'll bow my knees and lay my hands as a prophetic contact please don't be silent make declarations I will return with a testimony the Lord is turning my sorrow to dance in my morning uh, to joy in the name of Jesus Christ shame and reproach on account of this miracle service and this prophetic contact is living my life that includes those who are falling online go ahead in the name of Jesus Christ father we thank you in the name of Jesus I release faith over these requests representations of the pain the burdens the worries of your people let there be miracles in the name of Jesus are you releasing your faith with me let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be miracles in the name of Jesus miracles of fruitfulness miracles of advancement miracles of restoration miracles of strength job opportunities marital open doors celebration of children twins and triplets and quadruplets opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires restoration of marriages restoration of sick people some of you have lost money you have lost opportunities we command restoration strategic relationships that you have lost may God restore koinonia shout amen may God restore what happened to Esther that lifted her may it happen to you ah someone who has faith to believe what happened to Esther that took her from Shushan to the palace may it happen to you what happened to Ruth may it happen to you what happened to Abraham that caused Abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources may it happen to you what happened to Gideon that empowered him to lead an army may it happen to you what happened to Lot on account of his connection with Abraham may it happen to you anyone here appointed unto death that according to the plan of hell that this is your last miracle service that by the next one you would have been buried I cancel that statement we cancel that statement cancel that statement for you and your spouse canceled for you and your children canceled for you and your parents canceled anyone here trusting God for a job I bow my knees to the God of our father and I pray for you in the name of Jesus by next miracle service return with your employment letter and hear me believe in prophecy anyone who has a job that is fighting your relationship with God not allowing you go to church not allowing you serve God that the only way to remain in that job is to compromise may God relocate you to another job in the name of Jesus there is a grace for influence and visibility that grace can pick you from your room and can cause the nations to know you we are privileged stewards of that grace and in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I place that anointing on your life believe it I place that anointing on your destiny strangers will look for you from across the nations of the earth may they find you 
they will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family, anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach, may my God, by his hand upon your life, may he vindicate you this season. Koinonia, anyone called barren, prepare for your children coming. I say it again, anyone called barren, this is the year you carry your children. I feel led to pray for people who are trusting God for structural establishment. A house, a car. If you don't believe it, allow those who believe it to receive. But in the name of Jesus, for anyone trusting God for structural establishment, in 30 days from now, in the name that is above all names, and I say this prophetically, may my God surprise you. Beyond your savings, beyond your current resources, may my God surprise you. Houses you did not build, vehicles you don't have the money to pay for, let favor bring it to your doorstep. Hallelujah. Hear me. You have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations. But who to connect with may be what is missing. I pray for you right now. That gift stops being silent from today. That gift stops being silent from today. Those who need your gift, may they find you. Those who need your gift, may they find you. Those who can reward you for your gift, may they find you. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, I declare over these requests by the power of the Holy Spirit. The next request you will be writing will be for others, not for yourself again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. amen. The hands that are lifted, no power will bring them down. Your hand represents your productivity. I say it again. The hands that are lifted, not by witchcraft, not the wickedness of men, not the antagonisms of negative people. No power will bring your hand down. No power will silence your voice. Surely they will gather, but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, let me pray for you. And I want you to receive this. Whatever makes you use your money to service sickness, use your money to service police cases, court cases, you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of God upon your life. That God has been faithful, but your money is always used to resolve tragedy. From today, may tragedy be too late for your life. Did you hear what I said? May tragedy be too late for your life. Too late for your life. Too late for your business, too late for your ministry, too late for your family. In the name of Jesus, shout a sevenfold amen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give Jesus a hand clap of praise and a shout of victory. Hallelujah. Because you have believed it, prepare to come and stand here testifying. Because you have believed it, prepare to stand here to testify. In Jesus' name I pray. Keep standing everyone. You need Jesus. You need him now. You need him more than anything else in your life. We shouldn't end tonight's service without giving you an opportunity to come to Jesus. When I began my teaching, preaching about salvation and the gospel, everything I said struck a chord in your spirit. You are saying, Apostle, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. Can I join them? I'm not ashamed to declare that I need Jesus. For others, you are saying, I'm coming for the first time. I'm at the back, far back. Can I come? You are welcome. 
I'm outside. Can I come? You are welcome. I'm counting one to five. For those who seriously need Jesus, not playing games with their Christian experience, that you are saying today, if the trumpet should sound, I want to be among those who will gloriously exit in joy and with victory. Leave your seat and come. God bless you. I'm counting one to five. Young and old, male or female, there is always room at the cross. Come. Come. Very quickly. Two. I count five and then I begin my prayer. Take your bags, your Bibles, everything you came to church with. Please be on your way to the altar. Come. Three. Koinonia, let's encourage them as they come. Four. Apostle, I want to come, but my family members are with me, around me. I'm ashamed to come, not with the matters of your destiny, your eternal destiny. Leave them and come. Leave them and come. You came with friends, you came with family, but make your way to Jesus. It's a personal affair. You need to be born again. You have to be born again. In the name of Jesus. You're unable to come right here. You can move to your LED screens. Any of the overflows outside for those connecting online or any viewing center across the nations of the earth, do well to just move to the front. I'm sure that there are people there who can help you and lead you to Jesus. Else, please pray this prayer with me. Thank you for all of you who are here. Place one hand on your chest and lift the other as a sign of surrender. Please say this as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I have seen your power. I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my savior, as my Lord, and as my king. I declare that the power of sin Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life forever. From today, I am a child of God, washed by the blood of the Lamb. I go forward ever and backwards never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, thank you. We honor you, Father, for these ones who have come declaring your Lordship over their lives. And based on the integrity and the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. The grace to walk perpetually in victory. Let it be released upon you. I commend you to the ministry of the word. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. You go forward from hence and never backwards. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap.